February 27th. We are heading into Islands of Adventure right now. We have a couple reservations for Hagrid, so that is where we're gonna head first, and we'll see what the day brings. All right, we're approaching the beginning of the queue for Hagrid. We'll see how long our wait time is. I think in our experience, it's usually anywhere from like 15 to 30 minutes. So hopefully on the shorter side, we'll let you guys know. Coming up on Hagrid's hut here in the queue. Our wait time was only 12 minutes to get on here. Looks like you've lost power. Uh, I've got you. Don't worry. Reparo. Sorry. Okay, we just got off Hagrid. Thoughts? 10 out of 10. Oh, yep. Amazing as always. Always the best way to start the day. We're going to go see what the wait time is for Flight of the Hippogriff. It looks like Forbidden Journey is 120 minutes. We don't ride that. We did it <laughs> once and we vowed to never do it again. But Flight of the Hippogriff is 75 minutes, so we're gonna pass on that for now. We'll probably come back when we have our fast passes later tonight. Nice shot here of the castle. Okay, we're headed into Jurassic. You nailed that. <laughs> See the new sign? Oh my god. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna walk down here and just see what we can see from from the entrance. Coming summer 2021. Yes, we have speculations that it's gonna open much sooner than summer. Possibly on National Raptor Day, which is what April, April 18th. That's what we that's what we are maybe thinking. Can't see a lot from here, but this is where the entrance will be. Here's a shot of the Velocicoaster. They just took these walls down. These wait times are not it. <laughs> it's definitely busy this weekend. Okay, so we are hoping to get some pool time in today. So right now we're going to head over to Universal Studios because the Mardi Gras booths are about to open just to get a little pre-lunch snack. And then we're going to head back to the pool for a little bit. And then we'll come back here later. Okay, we're inside Universal Studios. We just bypassed like hundreds of people in line because there's one little ticket person here at the exit. So that was nice. But we're, I think we're just going to try and find a booth at the front of the park and just find something that sounds good. That way we can get back to the pool. So we stopped at Trinidad and Trebago. We are trying both the food options, the Valori and the Pineapple Trini Chow. We also are getting the Queen's Park Swizzle. Okay, so we're gonna start with uh, the Valori. Has some kind of sauce with it. Pineapple and cilantro go well mm -hmm. together. Yeah, it does. In the grill? 
salt is very nice. I like the best flavor. That was not flattering. <laughs> this is good. Yeah. yeah. This was a nice snack. Did we want to rate these? Yeah. Like A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, Z. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
six or seven. It's kind of just bland, but not bad. But it was good. Not bad if yeah. you're in the mood for a cookie. Yeah. Okay, we're back at the resort. We're getting ready to head down to the pool now. Okay, it is several hours later and we are heading back into Universal. Hoping to catch a couple rides and then try some more food, but we'll keep you updated on what we do. Just got off of the mummy. Front row. Front row. Pretty good. 12 the minute wait. It's or whatever that they stations. made are amazing. And yeah, 10 out of 10 ride. We're gonna go get some food. Yes, I'm hungry. Okay, we're at the Italy booth and we just ordered the RNG. So we just got the arancini from Italy. It's good. It, I mean, it pretty much tastes like what it is. Yeah, fried risotto, which is, I'm not really getting a lot of the truffle. I don't get truffle either, but I love cheese, so. Yeah, it is good. It's a win for me. I feel like I would give that like an 8 out of 10. Yeah, it's really good. It's like fried cheese. Mm -hmm. And it does have mushroom in it, but I'm not really, I'm not tasting I can't taste mushroom. the mushroom. I do see them in there. Okay, but I would yeah. say, so she doesn't really like mushrooms and she likes it. So if mushrooms aren't your thing, I wouldn't say that like... Don't let it hold you back. Don't cross it off your list yeah. because of that. Oh, it was really good. Yeah. It was only... It's gone in two seconds. So. Five dollars a day? Yeah, it was five. So. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Let's see what we can buy next. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm not even going to attempt to butcher these names, but we got the first food item, the second, and the second. Okay, so we just went to Brazil. Brazil. Yeah. Yeah. Brazil, we got the Pacini. It's a uh, shredded chicken and mashed potatoes. I don't know what this and is. And I literally cannot even begin to pronounce whatever that was. Yeah, I showed it on the menu. So, okay, yeah. cool, yeah. Refer so it's back to that. Rice and shrimp with like these little potato things. Sweet potatoes. Yeah. Sweet potatoes. Yeah. I'm not sure what the sauce okay. is. There was four in there. Okay. Mm, that's good. This is what's inside the That has a, a lot of flavor. Surprisingly, the potatoes really nice consistency. Um, it's nice crispy on the outside. It is nice and crispy. Chicken has really good flavor. I was kind of worried it would be dry or something, but it's not. Yeah, that one's really good. Yeah, that's very good. I'd probably give that like an 8 out of 10 also. Yeah, that was very good. It's really light. The sauce is really good though. I 
think I'm gonna like the chicken one a lot better. But with that side fried corn, what? Fried cornmeal. So in three bites, we pretty much took all the topping off. So this whole rest is just gonna be fried cornmeal. Fried cornmeal. Fried cornmeal. Fried cornmeal. Fried but, but it is good. Here's the chicken. Um, same toppings, the mayo, ketchup, cilantro, but this one has a little bit of an avocado spread on it. And then of course the chicken. I'm very excited to try this. Is there cheese on this one too? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The chicken definitely it's makes it for me because I think, I think it almost needs that little bit of texture in it. Yeah, it's good. And they put a lot of chicken in it too, which is nice. Yeah, it's very cool. Mm -hmm. It's good flavor. So we also do have the, uh, the beef. So Katie and I will give that a try. This one looks really juicy. Mm -hmm. That one is really good. I, I think I might like that one better than the chicken one, actually. I might like that one better than the chicken one, too. No, that one was very good. I also really liked the cheese one. It also had more sauce on it. So I, I don't know if the chicken was lacking the sauce. Yeah, that had a lot of sauce on it. It was like dripping with it. Yeah, yeah and the chicken one was a little drier, I feel like. I would give it... I, like a five or a six, maybe? Yeah, six. Yeah, six. six out of ten. It is a little bit on the dry side. Mm -hmm. Both, yeah, both the water. cheese and the yeah. chicken one, but otherwise good, yeah. Okay, we've had our savory fix. Now we are headed to one of the New Orleans foods where we are going to get some beignets. Uh, this is a beignet and, uh, okay. And we'll all of our so beignets. We have our beignets and then we got the Bourbon Street coffee as well. Yeah, she really wants the beignets. I do want the beignet. I'm a little scared of this. I don't love it. So it's cold brew, Jack Daniels, chicken cake syrup, and lemon juice. Mm. Yeah, I don't. That is a combination. Well, it's like Jack Daniels and black coffee, and then it's like super acidic because of the lemon juice. I think it's very. I taste like it's like a lot of different things. I mainly taste the king cake syrup like the second it hits my tongue, and then the rest of it's just bitter. Yeah, it's not really, really bitter. Not great for me. I wonder what like the not, there is a non-alcoholic version of it. I wonder what that would be. It's so okay with like. So fluffy. Very well covered in powdered sugar. Yeah. We look forward to these every March. <laughs> it's really airy inside. Mm. I'm satisfied. Yeah, it's really good. There's so much powdered sugar. <laughs> they're, like, much, they're very warm. That's how it should be. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. Perfect. They don't have the dipping sauce, but I'm not too upset about it. Yeah, I'm not really missing this it. We do, we do always get the dipping sauce, but this is good. It's fine on its own. If you don't choke on the powdered sugar, you're not doing it right. So. <laughs> okay, so the drink now. Yes. 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 Okay, our next stop is this Italy booth, which is right by Louis' restaurant. Um, I guess we are going to be trying one of everything from here. So a cannoli, the rainbow cookie, and the affogato. of vanilla or chocolate ice cream with this. I went with I vanilla. I appreciate vanilla. That yeah. is the cutest food I've ever seen in my life. That's yummy. If you're a coffee person, you'll appreciate that. It's very good. Mm. Yeah, that's good. That's really good. It's simple, but it's very, it's very tasty. The coffee is really nice flavor. Mm. Yeah, Ooh, that's it's really very good. creamy. That's good. Like a simple little thing, but. I love that. Very yeah, that's tasty. really, really good. I'd give that a 10. Okay. Rainbow cookie. Oh, it's cold. I didn't know what I was expecting. But... It's like a strange flavor, kind of. I think that's the almond. Yeah. Mm. It's very it's very moist, but dry at the same time. Or maybe it's just crumbly. I don't know. It's very dense. It tastes like extract. 
it does taste like, like almond extract. Stuff, yeah. I would do that maybe like a six. six. This is very heavy. I'm just gonna take another bite of ice cream one. Yeah, that's really good. Okay. I think I want a little more flavor in the cream. It's not like punching you in like a vanilla. Yeah, it's, it's a little very bland. subtle. It's good though, but it is uh, the other two win for me. Best was the the affogato. I feel yeah. like I like the cannoli better than the. Uh, really? Yeah. How the feta one. All right, so we're split. Yeah. Rainbow cookie. Yeah. They're good though. I would I would recommend I would recommend trying all three of them. Definitely going to eat the rest of the session. Yeah, yes. That, that's really for sure. good. <laughs> so we're gonna probably finish these and then somehow fit a grape. <laughs> Pretty excited to try this new one. We've heard some mixed reviews on it, so hopefully it doesn't let us down because we do like. The Don't grapes. think it's going to be better than the last season crew, which was the Thanksgiving one. That one was the best. I That's the that one. best one I've tried yet out of all of them. So we will make our way over there next. Okay, we were on our way to the crepes and we got, um, you know, sidetracked a little bit. We do want to try the pancake milk punch, bourbon milk punch using house-made pancake syrup. Okay, we've got our milk. Milk punch. Milk punch. Oh, I love the little sprinkles on yeah, it. Yeah, it's really cute. It's very festive. It tastes like alcohol. It tastes like medicine. <laughs> it tastes like medicine. The aftertaste is a little better. It just tastes like, like milky bourbon. bourbon, yeah. I don't like it. We're not nope. big drinkers, <laughs> so again, the lady at the stand said if you like bourbon, you would like this drink. I think if you do like bourbon, you would probably appreciate this. Yeah, but I'm sure it's, I'm sure it's nice. It's just not it's, for us. It's a no for me. So we have made our way over to our beloved crepe stand, where we are trying the Mardi Gras special, the poached pear creme brulee crepe. Okay, we have our crepe. <laughs> so that was really messy. My bad. Um, but I could pretty much just taste like the vanilla cream or vanilla whatever. custard. Custard, that's right. You got a pear? Mm -hmm. Oh, she got a pear. Mm -hmm. Did you get a pear? Mm -hmm. No. There is one right there. Oh, I see it. Okay, I'm going for it. I think that the like the pear is hard, so I think it's like a nice texture. I'm not mad balance. at this though. I mean, it's. It's a lot like the other crepe we got. I mean, with the crepe, you get kind of like the chewy. Mm -hmm. I, I think that there's a pear bun. Oh, I guess it's fine. I think that it was lacking on the creme brulee part of it. Yeah. The crepe itself is really yummy. The crepe is really good. Yeah. It's still obviously we're comparing sweet and savory, but overall experience not as good as the holiday one. There's crunchy stuff down there. Crunchy stuff? Oh, yeah? Mm -hmm. mm. Okay, whatever that bite was, was good. The pear, something crunchy. The flavor was a lot different. Oh! Did you get the crunch? Mm -hmm. Are there like almonds in it? I don't know. Mm. Ooh. I think it is, I think almond it is an flavor. almond. Ooh. Well, I love that then. Yeah. Because it just adds a little. Texture For some reason, the almond flavor and texture did a lot to the crepe. Yeah, wow. that was good. That was a good one. This is good. Mm -hmm. It is. Yeah. I think this is like the first trip ever that we've just, well, besides again, the Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving. one. Finished? That we've just sat down and finished. Yeah, we sometimes <laughs> we have always, a hard time. We usually always share one. Well, and we usually get multiple. Several. Yeah. That's true. Because we can't never We'll get a time. couple, yeah. We can't ever decide what we want. Sweet ones that are on the menu are almost like too sweet to eat all of. Yeah. 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 And that is something to say about this one. That it is, it is lighter. It's not overly it's sweet. It's not. Yeah. Yeah. Here's one of the floats lit up. Well, it's getting a little darker. Unfortunately, there isn't anybody on it throwing beads. We just made it back around the park and we were hoping to get some more beads because 
He was sleeping when we got these ones, and all of the floats are empty of cast members. So, and, and now that it's like dark out and the floats are all lit up, it's like really Mardi Gras feels. But the floats do look really cool lit up, so at least we have that. If you're walking, please put your mask on your face.